Hey guys, it's me back with another video. So let's go quickly. Patch 1.11 has been released. The notes they have been released along with the video. Before I go into this video, I have to mention this because it's quite embarrassing for me. Um, 92.5% of you are not subscribed. Guys, what are you doing? Just click the subscribe button. It's extremely, my content is extremely useful and I, I can guarantee you your time will be valuable. Uh, watching my content you can always expect improvement from me every time i upload a video please subscribe it really helps me even though you don't think it does it actually it does because it gives motivation and blah 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 i really need you guys to subscribe like let's go on to the video so patch notes from one one has been out the focus has been on initiators and sentinels initiators the flash Flash tuning, the fade out of the flash debuff remains the same duration, but it fades a bit slower at the start so that uh, it's more difficult for the flashed opponents to recover. Breach, the full flash time has been increased from 1.75 seconds to 2 seconds. It's an extremely huge change. And uh, the flash tuning has been applied to every single agent. I'll show you exactly what it means here. They have released this video. so. Um, the sky has been added to official matchmaking, available in competitive, um, of course, and um, icebox has also been added to competitive, and people can use it. Sky will not be able, available in esports for two weeks. Sky will be available for use in official esports competition. Example for a strike after two weeks and competitive queue. So November 9th, you can start playing esports with Sky, but till then you can't. Um, let's get into Sky later um where's the uh, flash the flash here so the flash time for breach has been increased that's a pretty huge change look at this this one is a good change this is the flash tuning change the fade tuning phoenix flash has the same time but it will make you feel like it doesn't look look yeah it feels like uh, phoenix's flash duration has been increased but it actually hasn't both the flashes will start fading at the same time, but the fade out duration will be different. So this is the time the flash ends. The fade out of the flash for the left side is extremely fast than compared to the right side. You can see here, you can see here, there, and it becomes more difficult for the right side blind to be, um, I mean, to recover from the, the flash basically. It's a good buff for Phoenix mains basically. Next. Um, this flash has been applied to everybody. So Breach, Sky, and uh, Phoenix, all of them will have the increased flash tuning duration. Um, Sentinels, it's a huge change. Cypher, if Cypher dies, the trap wires and the cameras will be disabled. Yeah, disabled. So if you walk through them, it won't detect and it will be revealed upon death. This is an extremely huge change because so far Valorant has been extremely so CC decided winning as T side is extremely difficult. This change is extremely useful, extremely useful, trust me. And I think it's a good change. So if you're a cipher, you cannot go aggressive. You cannot die because if you die, your trap wires go away and you cannot watch flanks. Um, let me just show you how it looks. Let's go into Kilja later. Of course, Kilja is being shown right now. Yeah, there you go. So once cipher dies, the camera will be visible. There you go. And the traps. Right now the traps are there. That's a trap that's disabled. There you go. So you can see where the trap used to be. You can also see that it's disabled. So you cannot die a cipher or you lose the side entirely. This enables lurkers to play more aggressive and more like a lurker rather than just uh, being a distraction because um, being as a distraction is not being effective in Valorant as an attacker sided. Next, Killjoy. Killjoy has been changed by a lot. The alarm bot and turret will deactivate if she is more than 40 meters away from them. Um, this is an extremely useful change for attackers and a big nerf for Killjoy in Sky, in Sky as Icebox, sorry. Um, she needs to be together with the turret, especially in Icebox. In other maps, the flexibility is a bit more and the demonstration is shown here. 
the torrent where is the torrent 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 yeah there you go so if you're above 40 meters the torrent gets deactivated and does not shoot anybody same with the alarm bot the cooldown of pickup of uh, both of these tools has been decreased so if you pick up the torrent the cooldown used to be 20 seconds for redeploying it's now 10 seconds for alarm bot it has been changed from uh, 20 seconds to 7 seconds that's a good change for uh kill domains and the view detection of the alarm bot and the nan nano swarm has been decreased so you as an attacker would have to go more closer to see the alarm bot you can see here the detection range of alarm bot has been the same it has not been changed it's the view detection that has been changed so even the nano swarm will have to be a lot closer for the uh, to, to detect the swarm and the nano swarm's damage has been increased from 40 damage per second to 45 damage per second it's a small change but it's it might be effective in the end that's a pretty good change and um next yeah there, there is now some economy balance changes as an attacker and as a defender as an attacker if you die and your team does not plant the bomb basically i'm sorry if you do not die and you have your team hasn't planted the bomb basically if you are an attacker and you are saving the round without planting the bomb you will get less credits in in counter strike you used to get zero credits in this game it's not like that you will get reduced credits um let me show you yeah so this is for the defender i'm talking about the attacker so if you're an attacker you haven't planted the bomb and you're saving the game instead of getting 1900 credits for losing once one times you will get thousand credits so if i am correct i'm not exactly sure attackers who lose but survive the entire round without planting the spike receive a reduced number of credits which is thousand that's huge you get thousand credits so every time you lose but you're uh, you save you get thousand credits so if you're an attacker and you do not have enough uh, equipment with you you will have to die if you haven't planted the bomb because you will not get the go uh, good amount of credits that you would usually get the same comes to the defender if the defender dies after the bomb has been planted sa uh, and saving surviving the entire round you will get reduced amount of cash so if you have less uh, if you have bad equipment you would have to die by uh, attacking enemies you cannot save and this is a good change for economy extremely good change and dying to the spike will no longer count as a death in kda statistics this might help improve your rank if you're a kda kind of player um another thing is and tooltip has been added to the buy menu so whenever you hover over it you will get economy information the information would be looking like this like this so this will give you as a attacker if you lose how much money i mean uh, if you lose how much money you get and how many times if you lose how much money you get etc etc entire detailed information is given here regarding economy which is useful for beginners um uh, yeah another thing they have added left uh, left hand view model you can see here extremely nice and i'm pretty sure most of you wanted this uh, left hand view model well it's here now you can enjoy your left hand view model um i haven't gone through these changes so let me just read them out for you minor improvements to observer flashed indicator New settings for observers show player key binds on map. Um, okay. New custom game option play out all rounds. Both teams play a full 12 rounds on attackers, followed by overtime on 19 Um, um, etc. etc. You can now send a direct message by clicking a friend's name in chat instead of having to type their name out, which is pretty nice. Players that have been AFK or Alt Tab for more than five minutes will now appear as away in the social panel. This is good because people used to think I'm online while well, I'm not and they used to invite me to the lobby and just wait for me. Adjusted team colors to remain fixed for the fuel duration of a game for observers and stuff like this. This is nice. Extremely nice because in, as a, in tournament games it used, to be get, uh, it used to be extremely confusing. Now the attackers will have the same color, the defenders will have the same color entire game. Um, and there is a beta option of experimental sharpening which has been improved I guess. Oh, okay, never mind. They are removing this, I guess. Okay, they have uh, changed a bit of hitches. Uh, not all. Fixed one source of combat hitches. We have been seeing reports. We are continuing to blah, blah, blah. Jet cannot drop dash now. So the video I made is no longer useful. You could ignore it. 
uh, fixed a bug where incoming party invites would remain active. Yep, this was a big bug. Players no longer see the spike connection when reconnecting to a game. Bug, I guess. Fixed issue um, where player corpses would cause, cause collision issues. Yes, this happened to my friend once, co causing collision issues. Sage wall segment no longer breaks if a player dies on top of them. This is also a good bug which has been fixed. Good. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. I'll see you guys later. Peace.